So here is the uh, formulation of benzene. Uh, this is another electrophilic substitution reactions, which is part of your co uh, course content. So you can see here that uh, first of all we need uh, to create that formal group. So the CO plus HCl is used uh, to create that formal chloride. Uh, this is uh, used in presence of uh, Lewis acids such as the uh, aluminium chloride which is first of all it is uh, polarized the bond is polarized and then thereafter what happens uh, and then uh, you can see in the mechanism uh, but the overall you can see that in this reactions the uh, mixture of the carbon monoxide and HCl are used uh, in presence of the Lewis acids and converting them into the uh, benzene formaldehyde. So you can see that uh, what is the mechanism for this reactions? In the mechanism you can see that there is a, a CO uh, bond for me. You know that there are various forms of the uh, uh, CO group, right? So CO exists in this one of the resonating form where you can see the positive charge creating on the oxygen. How? By pushing the electron, uh, the lone pair of the oxygen towards carbon, there will be a, a triple bond formation bringing the positive charge on oxygen, so oxonium ion formation. Now this carbon is bearing the negative charge can now abstract the proton from the HCl and changing into this uh, uh, intermediate. So you can see that in the transition state there are various resonating form, two of the resonating form that coexist. Now either of the can uh, abstract the remaining chloride group that has relieved after the HCl uh, has been uh, after the proton of the HCl has been abstracted. Now the chloride can attack on the carbon resulting in this uh, formal chloride. And once you have this formal chloride, this can be polarized just like the Lewis acid was polarizing the CHCl group or the other uh, halogens uh, for the halogenation of benzene. Here also the uh, Lewis acid can polarize this bond uh, between the uh, carbon and the chlorine. This carbon chlorine bond can be polarized uh, and then what happens next is that this uh, chlorine is shifting uh, towards this Lewis acid, right? So ALCl3 is the electron deficient so it will uh, abstract the chlor chlorine from the uh, formyl chloride and leaving behind that formyl cations. So the, again, there are two uh, forms of the formal cation that coexist. The two form of the formal cation coexist. So uh, these, uh, uh, there will be an at, uh, attack of the benzene ring, uh, the uh, pi electron of the benzene ring, on the on this. So once uh, this formal cation. Uh, pi electrons of the benzene attack on the formyl cation, you see that there is a, a sigma complex formation uh, where the uh, uh, aromaticity has been lost for a while and a positive charge created on the benzene ring. And then what happened next is that that ALCl4 minus that abstract one proton changing back to the HCl uh, and then uh, the uh, the electron pair of the leaving hydrogen they are shifting and uh, subsiding the deficiency of electron and then thereafter there is a regain of the aromaticity so we are ended up with the product that is called the uh, formal benz uh, benzene formaldehyde so you can see that in overall this reactions uh, there is a formylation reaction that has happened uh, this uh, reaction is favored. This can be even the rate of this reaction can be even enhanced, even more in, uh, enhanced by having uh, some electron donating group, some already 
electron donate a group on benzene ring. For instance, if we have OH group or some other alkyl group that already exist on the benzene ring, uh, this formylation reaction will be very easy. That's called the Gaderman coach reactions. You know about if we have this phenol, uh, I mean OH ring on the benzene ring that will, you know, activate the benzene ring and then it will be easier for the uh, pi electron of the benzene to attack on the formyl cation which has already been generated. So, this reaction will be favored, this formylation reaction will be favored under the conditions if, if the benzene ring have already uh, electron donating group. Uh, but uh, you can see vice versa, uh, if the electron deactivating group such as nitro group is present, then of course the rate of this formylation reaction so the will next be The reaction is the, for my, uh, is the carboxylation reaction of benzene. I already told you that uh, uh, for whether that is the formylation or the other carboxylation reaction, uh, you need to have the uh, electron rich benzene ring. Uh, I mean, there should be a pre existing electron donating group that can favor the uh, carburate of the carboxylation reactions. Uh, for the carboxylation reaction, the rea uh, reaction is feasible if you have the phenol. So, how to uh, produce the phenol uh, from the benzene? You can see in this mechanism that. Uh, you can start with the, there is no direct uh, way to create the, uh, there are a few reactions available though, but uh, the, the common reactions that we are producing the phenol from is to start with the chlorobenzene, how to produce the chlorobenzene is subjecting benzene ring to the uh, chlorination reaction presence of the Lewis acid that will give you the chlorobenzene and then this chlorobenzene can be treated with the base, strong base like NaOH uh, and press at, uh, at the temperature of 350 degrees centigrade that will give you the salt sodium phenoxide and then sodium phenoxide can then be hydrolyzed to the respective uh, with acids that can give you uh, phenol. Once you have this phenol ring that can be treated with the base again to create that phenoxide uh, this phenoxide is now more, uh, phenoxide is more making the benzene ring more uh, nucleophilic than the phenol itself because it's pushing the electron to, towards benzene uh, and then uh, having this, uh, this uh, pi electron can be pushed uh, towards the uh, uh, carbon dioxide. So, once this, uh, so thus carbon dioxide now can be, because carbon dioxide by itself is not a very good uh, electrophile. So, you need to have a strong nucleophile for that. So, the, if you have this strong nucleophile, then that nucleophile can make this carbon dioxide more electrophilic and this attack will be quite feasible under that conditions. So, you have uh, two ways uh, in order to enhance the rate of the carboxylation reaction, whether you have the much electron withdrawing group at the carbonyl group that can make the carbon even more electrophilic or another uh, alternative option is that you have this uh, electron donating group uh, on the benzene ring that can uh, make the benzene ring more nucleophilic. So, the two option is that whether either you make, if you uh, either you have a strong electrophile or you have a strong nucleophile, both the ways, uh, in both of the ways, the uh, rate of the electrophilic substitution reaction will be feasible. So, in this reaction, you can see that this phenoxide uh, and push the pi electron of the benzene ring towards carbon dioxide. And we have this uh, again. There will be you no. Know, uh, you can also there, get there can also be where this uh, hydrogen uh, can be uh, tartomerized to form the phenol again to regain the aromaticity. And then thereafter, there will be a simple step of the abstraction of proton from the acid. And then we will be left with this. Uh, uh, so this.
this was the end of the Final lecture order. so i guess uh, if you have any questions in this regard that will be most welcome uh, meanwhile you can make a practice on the rest of the reaction also and next time we'll be continuing with some more topic uh, till then goodbye and have a great day hey this is how you can search my channel type knowledge plus understanding in the search box then wait then hey this is my youtube channel knowledge plus understanding then you can click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click the bell icon thank you